Okay class, today we're in lesson 2.4, solve multi-step equations. Lesson 2.4, solve multi-step equations. Before, you solve one step and two step equations. Now, you will solve multi-step equations. Key vocabulary, like terms, distributed property, and reciprocal. Solving a linear equation may take more than two steps. Start by simplifying one or both sides of the equation, if possible. Then use inverse operations to isolate the variable. Example one, solve an equation by combining like terms. Solve 8x minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 20. First, write original equation. 8x minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 20. Next, combine like terms. 8x minus 3x would give you 5x. Bring down your minus 10. Bring down a 20 and also bring down that equal sign. Now we're back to doing a two-step equation. Now we're back in section 2.3. All right, I want to get this x by itself. And on the same side with the x, I have a 5 and I have a 10. It says 5 times x minus 10. Once again, we do the reverse order of operations, or the reverse PEMDAS. So, we're going to start with the negative 10, or the minus 10. All right, the inverse of a negative 10 is a positive 10. What I do to one side, I must also do to the other side. So, I end up adding 10 to both sides. Now, negative 10 plus a positive 10, that goes to 0, so this is gone. The negative 10 and the positive 10 are gone because it cancels out. I'm left with just 5x. On the other side, I got 20 plus 10. Well, 20 plus 10 is 30. Now I'm left with 5 times x is equal to 30. Now I'm back to section 2.2, .2, a one-step equation. 5 times x is equal to 30. I'm working with multiplication, so I want to get rid of this 5. And the way I do that is working with the inverse. What's the inverse of multiplication? Division. So therefore, I would divide both sides by 5. When doing so, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So I'm left with a 1x, a 1x. Once again, that 1 is not needed because there's only 1x there. And then on this side, I have 30 divided by 5, and 30 divided by 5 is 6. So x is equal to 6. Okay, let's work out the same problem going vertical. 8x minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 20. Combine like terms, 8x minus 3x is 5x. So I have 5x minus 10 is equal to 20. I want to get this x by itself. That means I must get rid of the 5 and the negative 10. I'm going to use the inverse of the order of operations. Um, so that means I'm going to start with Subtraction first. So the opposite of a negative 10 is a positive 10. What I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So a negative 10, when combined with a positive 10, that's gone. So now I have 5x is equal to 20 plus 10 is 30. Now I'm back to a one-step equation. Uh, this says 5 times x. I want to get rid of this 5 because I want the x by itself. And the inverse of multiplication is division. So I divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I'm left with 1x is equal to 30 divided by 5, which is 6. And we know by now that 1x can be rewritten as simply x is equal to 6. All right, let's take a look at example 2. Solve an equation using the distributive property. Solve 7x plus 2 times x plus 6 is equal to 39. Solve 7x plus 2 times parentheses x plus 6 close parentheses is equal to 39. Solution. When solving an equation, you may feel comfortable doing some steps mentally. Method 2 shows a solution where some steps are done mentally. Method 1, show all steps. And pretty much this is what we're going to be doing. Eventually you can get to this point. 
But for right now, we're making sure that we know how to do the problem completely and we know how to break down every step. All right, so we got 7x plus 2 times x plus 6 is equal to 39. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is apply the distributive property. So I'll bring down my 7x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 6 is 12. Then I'll bring down the 39. Next, I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine like terms. So 7x plus 2x is 9x. Bring down the 12. Bring down the 39. Now I'm back to a, a two-step equation. Addition and multiplication. And by now we should know that we start with addition. What's the opposite of a positive 12? A negative 12. Because I'm going to get rid of that 12. So a negative 12 on both sides. All right, now I do my math. 9 plus 12x, excuse me, 9x plus 12 minus 12. 12 minus 12 is 0, so that's gone. And I'm left with just 9x. 39 minus 12 is 27. So now I'm left with 9 times x is equal to 27. I want to get the x by itself, so I must get rid of this 9. We're working with multiplication, so therefore the inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9. When divided by 9, 9 divided by 9 is 1. So I'm left with 1x. And 27 divided by 9 is 3. So x is equal to 3. All right, now for those of us who may be a little bit conf confused on what we did here with the distributive property, all they're saying here is that that 2 must be distributed to everything inside this parentheses. So the 2 must go to the x first. And 2 times x is 2x. And then the 2 must go to the positive 6 next. 2 times the positive 6 is 12. Now method 2, do some steps mentally. You can use that once you are sure you know what you're doing. So we got 7x plus 2 times x plus 6 is equal to 39. We're going to apply that distributive property like we just showed you. And we end up with 2x plus 12. So we got 7x plus 2x plus 12 is equal to 39. We're going to combine like terms. 9x plus 12 is equal to 39. All right, now mentally, they're saying minus 12. Mentally, they're saying minus 12 and minus 12. Now, why is that? Because we got 9x plus 12 is equal to 39. This is a two-step equation. We want to get the x by itself. So we got 9 times x, and we got a plus 12. We go backwards from our order of operations. So we're going to work with the plus 12 first. So the inverse or the opposite of a positive 12 is a negative 12. And we did it on both sides. But now they're doing that mentally now. Uh, so the 12s will end up canceling out. And you're left with 9x is equal to 39 minus 12, which is 27. Now, once again, mentally, they divide by 9. They divide by 9. So 9 divided by 9 is 1. I'm left with 1x. And then 27 divided by 9 is 3. Notice one step equation, and we want to get the x by itself. Now, one thing to keep in mind is as we go along in this book and as we go along in this section, more and more the book will begin will begin doing problems like this, as opposed to showing you every last step. Because at this point, they assume that you know the steps and you know what you've been doing. Example three, standardized test practice. Which equation represents step two in the solution process? Step one, 5x minus 4 times parentheses x minus 3 close parentheses is equal to 17. Step two is not shown. Step three, we ended up with x plus 12 is equal to 17. Step four, we end up with a final answer of x is equal to 5. So now between a 
B, C, and D, which step belongs right here. And by the way, this is how they check you on a multiple choice test to make sure that you know how to do every step involved in a problem. When you're doing your EOC test, they love problems like these. So it stops the kid who's trying to guess and trying to work backwards to determine the answer. You must work forward and you must know all the steps. Solution. In step two, the distributive property is used to simplify the left side of the equation because a negative four times x minus three is equal to a negative four x plus 12. Step two should be 5x minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 17. The correct answer is D. So, to see that in action, you would have written 5x minus 4x negative 4 times x plus 12. Negative 4 times a negative 3 is a positive 12. And that is equal to 17. And of course, that's going to be answer D. Example 4. Multiply by a reciprocal to solve an equation. Solve 3 divided by 2, or 3 over 2, times 3x plus 5 is equal to a negative 24. Write the original equation. And then we're going to multiply each side by 2 over, we're going to multiply each side by 2 over 3, the reciprocal of 3 over 2. So, here, that's our original equation. We want to get rid of this 3 over 2, so we're going to multiply by 2 over 3. So we do that on this side, and we multiply by 2 over 3 on this side. Now when we do it here, we get 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 divided by 6. That's going to be equal to 1. So in other words, this is going to cancel out. All right, so now I'm left with 3x plus 5. So I'll bring that down. Over here, I got 2 over 3 times a negative 24. So 2 over 3 times a negative 24 over 1. This is how I multiply with my fractions. All right, I'm going to save myself some time. So 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 24, 8. 2 times 8 is 16. And don't forget, that's a negative 8, so it's going to make that a negative 16 over 1. So that's how we came up with negative 16. So now I got 3x, excuse me, now I have 3x plus 5 is equal to a negative 16. So we're going to subtract 5 from each side. So here we're saying minus 5 and minus 5. A positive 5 would combine with a negative 5. That's going to cancel out. And I'm left with 3x. Now I got a negative 16 plus a negative 5. That's going to equal to a negative 21. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. By 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I'm left with 1x. A negative 21 divided by 3 is equal to a negative 7. Example 5. Write and solve an equation. Summer camp. You are planning a scavenger hunt for 21 campers. You plan to have five teams. One camper from each team would be the recorder and the rest would be searchers. How many searchers will each team have? Solution. Let S be the number of searchers on each team. Then 1 plus S is the total number of campers on each team. Number of campers equals number of teams times number of campers on each team. Number of campers, 21. Number of teams, 5. Number of campers on each team, 1 plus S. Write the equation. 21 is equal to 5 times 1 plus S. Use the distributive property. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times S is 5S. Okay, now we're going to solve for S. First, we subtract 5 from each side. We're going to subtract 5 from each side. So I'm going to get 5 minus 5. That's going to be 0. So I'm left with 5s. 
Then I got 21 minus 5, that's 16. Then divide both sides by 5, and S is equal to 3.2.